Hi, I'm Dan Letha. I'm a cartoonist and illustrator, and over the course of my 30-year career, I've gotten a lot of questions about what kinds of tools do I recommend. And today I want to tell you about one favorite tool that um, I think you should consider. So let's get recommending. And that favorite tool of choice that, I've, that I'm talking about here is the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. And I discovered this uh, quite a few years ago. And I tell you, it was a game changer compared to what I had been using. Years and years ago, when I first learned how to use an actual brush to ink with, it was a bit of a challenge to learn how to do it, but it was also a bother and a mess because you had to have an ink bottle and you would dip the brush, the actual brush, like a paintbrush, into the, the ink and then you would you know, take it back out and then start applying it to the drawing that you're, that you're doing. And there was always that fear of tipping the ink bottle over and dripping ink and all that sort of stuff because you're dealing with an ink bottle with a lot of ink in it. And then the brush is something you had to wash out and clean and keep. It was, it was a mess and an expense too because those brushes would wear out and then you'd have to get another one. Well, the, uh, the Pentel Pocket Brush is self-contained. I'll show you how it works in a little bit, but it's very handy, very small, very portable, which an ink brush and a bottle of ink is completely not portable. I mean, you can take it with you, but it's such a pain. And then even after that, when I was uh, working at another place called uh, Mellow Smellow in Minneapolis, when I was drawing children's products and stickers and all kinds of stuff, I used some uh, brush markers to do a lot of that inking. That was before I knew about this product. And the brush markers worked okay. There were some that were good and some that were not so good, but they tended to wear out pretty quick and then you have to buy another one. It was really expensive. So I think this pen right here, this brush pen, is kind of the best of both worlds where it's portable, so it's kind of like the marker, but it gives you the quality of line and then the, the ink, actual ink on a paper. and it comes with these uh, these cartridges that you put your ink in, and so I'll show you how that works. And um, so here here's the uh, the brush itself. It just pulls open, and so you pull it open, and there's the brush right there. And that's an actual brush. It's not a like a felt thing that goes down to a point. There's actual bristles on here, and it stays at a nice point too. So I really appreciate the quality of the brush part itself. And then all you have to do is you unscrew the back to get access to the cartridge and then you pull that off and that's all there is to it and those cartridges are super easy to to pull back off if I had a new one I would just take it and then put it back on so you just pull it or you push it up into the the pen itself and then uh, re-screw the the back of it onto it and away you go that's all you have to do to to change ink and you don't have to worry about dipping it into a bottle and tipping anything over. And the only mess that I would say would, would be associated with it for the most part are when I'm inking with it, which I'm going to show you now, is that you would um, get your fingers a little inky sometimes. If I put my fingers down towards the brush too much, I can get the tips of my fingers with a little bit of ink on it. But this pen is such a joy to use. It's easy to hold in your hand, it flows very nice, it makes thick and thin, which I'm showing you some thick lines right here, very, very easily. All you have to do is apply more pressure to the brush to, uh, to push it down closer to the paper and it makes a, a thicker line. And here I'm relaxing that pressure a bit and so I'm getting a thinner line. And as you practice with it, you'll get more of a feel for how that works. But again, it's... Um, it takes a bit of practice if you're used to drawing with a pencil and a pen. Those things work a bit differently than a brush does. And the key to getting a good line quality and actually having success in using a brush is that you have to pull the brush. You don't push the brush. If you pushed your hand towards the bristles and made a line that way, you would get the bristles to spread out and that would make a blob and that would be a bad thing. But if you drag the bristles behind your hand, that's the formula for success on how to use this. So again, it takes a bit of practice and I would suggest, you know, just making some fun shapes and, and then practice, sit, sit down and practice inking 
with your pen if you've not used one of these brushes before. And after a while, it'll start to make sense and you'll start to have more fun and it'll, it'll kind of click in your mind, ah, that's how you use it. And then the next thing would be, where do you put the thick and the thin lines? And again, I would say look at some other artwork and see how the artists are using it. And I've talked about where I put my thick and thin lines in other videos on my YouTube channel. So I would say, you know, go back and check those out. But I do have a method as to why I put a particular line thicker or thinner. And visually, when you get that down, it makes a lot of sense. And uh, again, digital is fun and it, it has its advantages. But I don't think they'll ever fully replace the the feel for an actual brush in your hand on paper putting ink down there's something very very special about that and the same is true for paints and other things the digital realm is great i think all artists that are going into that field need to learn how to do that but it'll never replace the real actual things that are put in your hand now i've done this drawing again with a pen that makes a single line thickness and so i want to compare the the two the drawing on the right has the same line thickness all the way through and it looks, I don't know, a little vanilla, a little, it's, it's fine. There's artists that use single thickness pens and, and they do great artwork. I, I like their artwork a lot, but there's something unique and it just has more pizzazz if you have thick and thin lines and there's all kinds of things that I can do with a thick line. I put the thick line on the outside of the creature around the, the contour, the, the outside edge, and some of the thinner line details on the inside. And so visually that helps your eye make sense out of that object. So those are just some of the things you can do with thick and thin. And it just has that real zing to it that I like a lot. You know, a lot of comic book artwork has thick and thin line artwork, and that's actually a good source to, to study if you want to learn how to do this. So for the artists that are out there that want to uh, maybe try something new and and uh, pick up some new skills in how you draw, I would highly recommend the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. It's, again, so easy to use and it has a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get past that, uh, your artwork will, will just take off and, and look very, very different. And people will start to notice, wow, that's uh, you've added some skills to your artwork. So. Again, I highly recommend this product, and if you want to uh, get one now or at least check it out, I'm going to put a link below to uh, Amazon. And if you uh, click on the link and purchase the brush, I get a little percentage of the price that you paid for it. You don't pay any extra, but I will. Uh, you will have my gratitude for doing so. So thank you for considering that. And uh, for me now, it's uh, back to the drawing board. I hope you've liked my recommendation video here. I plan on doing more in the future. So if there's any products, any things you're curious about that you want me to talk about, I'd be happy to take those recommendations. But for me right now, it is back to the drawing board. So thanks for watching.